So in this case, we would have a circle, and this is a circle, something like a piece. And at the middle of the circle is going to be this point, something like this. Around here. And what do we call it from the center of the circle to the side? Any, any point on the edge? Okay, that's the radius, excellent. Like it. Oh, yeah, let's, let's change this. Let's see. Let's see Yay. All right. <clears throat> so the radius is a huge deal because you're going to be using the radius uh, for volume of the stuff that we're going to be doing today. And also you need it for area. And sometimes you need it for circumference. And sometimes you need it for diameter, okay? So, radius is a very important. So, let's say the radius in this case was, I don't know, two. How would we find the area of this circle? Pi times two times three Grant. Pi times two squared. Very good. Pi times two squared. Is there anyone that doesn't know what two squared means? Really? Does that mean it's just... Four. Does that mean we're just going to take this two and multiply it by this two? No. Well, yeah. No. Yeah, in that Break. case. You multiply, it. you multiply it by itself. How many times? Two. two. Twice, good. So two times two is... Four. Four, four. so now you got pi times, pi times a four. And on your calculators, what does that give you? 39.4. What? Yeah, 12.56 or 12.6. Good. And uh, if this had units, like uh, maybe it had inches in here, then you'd have inches squared. Okay. So, first of all, we got our center of the circle. It's told us the radius in this case is what? 3.2 centimeters. Very good. So in your calculators, you're going to find the area of this circle. All right, you're going to take pi and multiply it by 3.2 squared. What does that give you in your calculators? 10.24. 32.17. Thirty-two point one seven centimeters squared. Bam. Here's your area. Well, this is excellent. So, how many of you feel now that that you could find the area of a circle? I need to see your hands because this is a big deal, actually, with what we're doing today. Pretty much everyone. Okay. The radius was given to us in this problem. Excellent. So, uh, here's the thing: is is if if we were to take this circle and expand it, what would we have? Well, that's this deal right up in here. See, if we take the circle, now it's three-dimensional, right? Yes. So now it's... Has, yeah, it has now, it has this, uh, you know what I'm saying, this stuff. Okay. Maybe I did that wrong, I don't know. Yeah, that's good. All right, uh, so what we're going to do now is find the volume of this. Okay. Is, that, is there anyone that feels like they could not do that? Second five. All right, if you, if you can, that's fine. Don't worry about it. So let's say that the radius of this circle right here was 3.2 centimeters. Just like the other circle. Well, what was the area of that circle? Like 32.17 centimeters squared, right? Very good. So all we're going to do, let's say that the height of this thing is uh, 5 centimeters. Then what would the volume of this cylinder be? Adam? 160.8 sounds good. So what did you do there? Adam, to find that? Find the area of the circle on the end, and then find the 
Okay. Once you find the area of the circle, just multiply it by the height of the cylinder. Uh, and you've got your answer. By the way, what's the units on this? Centimeters. Centimeters. Cube. Okay. Why is it cubed? Because volume is three-dimensional. So you have three centimeters. Centimeters cubed. By the way, on this number three, the diameter of this one is 16 meters. What would the radius be? Eight meters. Okay. All right, good. So how do we find the area of the circle? Five times pi squared. Five times pi squared. No, it's five squared times pi, right? Yeah, yeah. 49. So 25 times pi. Is that like 78-ish? 70, 78.5? 78.5 centimeters squared. Thank you. Oh, it sounds like you guys got it already. Yeah. What is it? One hundred three point nine er inches squared. Uh, by the way, some of you missed problems on the on the test we just took because the label was wrong. Just a few people did. Don't worry about it. Just to start out with. Uh, but it may be helpful to find the radius of this bugger. Can you just do 21 times pi? No. And it's different. So that's actually a very good question. Could we just do 21 times pi? Because 21 is the radius times 2. No. Because no. It's the radius squared. Very good. It's the radius times the radius. Okay. So what, the, what is the radius in this case? 11? 12? 10.5. 10.5. Very good. Yards. And what do we do with this now? Times it by 8. Well, you're going to take the 10.5. That is the radius. Let's go ahead and square that action. Then we'll multiply that by pi, which is what? It's what? Now, what's the area of this circle for 10.5 squared pi? Oh, 300 and... Yeah, 326. Yeah, yeah. My bad. 326.05. Oh, that's, that's what I meant. 46, thank you. 0.3. 3, that's fine. Or 4. Or 4. Depending on how you round it. Yards is squared. Uh, now what do we do with this 346.4 yards squared? Multiply your area by the height. Yep. There you go. Just going to multiply it by the height of this cylinder, 8 yards. And that'll be 2,500, 2,600. 277. Oh, it should be bigger than that. Oh, 2,770. Alright, so the, the volume of this, 2,770.9 yards. Cubed. Cubed. Bam. There it is. Yeah. Okay. You do three pi scrap. This is three squared. I'm curious because Grant kind of did this all at one time. How many of you guys are just doing it all at one time? Is that bad? No, it's not bad. Just curious. Oh. How many of you are finding the area first, which would be this part, 
and then finding the volume. Okay, good. It doesn't matter how you do it, but uh, for some people it's better to break it up into the two parts. Some of you are just like, I just want to get it done with okay. uh, Either way it works, and it's a very good. All right, here we go, Seth. All right. You do 12 divided by 2 and get 6. And you'll do 6 squared times pi times 5, which is... Good. Excellent, Seth. Robert's family uses a container shaped like a cylinder. Hey, that's a surprise because we're talking about cylinders. Wow. It has a height of 4 foot and a diameter of 1.5 foot. The container is full. How much uh, does it weigh if the aluminum can is 37 ounces per square foot? All right, so we do need the volume in this one. Has someone figured the volume out for us by chance oh, wait, already? Figure out the volume and then we'll talk about how to find the weight. All right, so what do you guys have for the volume then? Seven, seven point zero six eight five eight three four one. Shut up. Seven. Wait, seven point zero six eight five four. Five eight. Five eight. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Seven one seven one two seven. And this would be footsies. Third. Cute. Okay. Now that we have the volume, did it? All right. Here's the thing about this: is it now tells us. That this is 37 ounces per square foot. So, uh, the contents weigh. We want the weight of this garbage. So, what we're going to do is multiply the two together. You see, because what happens here is you got 37 ounces per for every square foot. Foot squared, okay. Uh, I think that means cubic foot. That should be cube foot. So, how many cubic feet do we have? 261. 7.0686. Oh, 7 okay. So, so since we have 7.0686 cubic feet, and it's 37 ounces for every cubic feet, you're just going to multiply the two together. Yeah. And uh, what does that give us, by the way? 261.5. 261.53. We'll just say 5, that's fine. You can say 5, 3, whatever. Now, what are the units for this? Feet, feet. Or ounces. ounces. This is weight. What questions do you guys have on this? Most people struggle with this because it is asking for the weight, not the volume. All right, here's one uh, where you have to find the volume of this cube. Let's look at this cube. I don't know why you do this, but I guess we're going to do this to some kind of cake. Uh, the first thing you need to do is figure out the volume either of the, of the cube or the cylinder. The second one is you're going to find the volume of the other one that you didn't find the volume of. So you got to find the volume of both anyways. After that, you can see here that uh, the... The cylinder here in the middle, this has been cut out of this uh, cube. So all you're going to do is take the cube volume and then subtract the cylinder volume. Done. Um, 
Good luck. Okay. So you do. 25. Whoa. That's not a 25. Grant, do you do 25 times 30? Dude, am I going right so far? Yeah. Oh. Really? Oh, shoot. So, how do I go back? 20 times 50. Okay, so it's length times width times height, so it's... So you do length time width times height for the prism thingy-majigger, and you get... Holy cow, 37,500. 37, and then to find the... Prism, or the cylinder thingy majigger, you do base times height. 25 and a half. Yeah. Which is 12 and a half. Exactly. Square it times it by pi. Wait, how'd you get 12, 12 and a half? There, you do 25 and divide it by 2 since that's a half thingy majigger. Okay. Square it and then times it by pi. 5. And if you square that. And times it by pi. Then you'll get. Wait, times it by 50. What do you mean times it by 50? Because it's a cylinder. Silent. <laughs> and then. Here you finish it. Okay, I don't even know what that is. 12.5 squared times pi. Times 50 divided by 2, which is 1, 2, 2, 7, what is that? 1, 8, and then this. I don't care. 3, 7, 5. And that's. Three, six, two. Yeah, he did. And then it's centimeters. Cute, cute. Thanks, Lynn. Thank you, Grant. All right, yeah, uh, Luke is right. We do need to write this in that it was divided by two right here. And that's where this came from. Uh, then Grant just took this number and subtracted this garbage up in here, which gave him his answer, 36,272.82 centimeters cubed. Looks like we forgot a zero up in here. So in other words, all we got to do is take this decimal. We just need to get rid of it right there. Okay, we'll get rid of that decimal. I'm just going to move it over one right here. Okay. And that's going to change the, the answer a lot. So you're going to take the 37,500, subtract 12,271.8, bam. Oh, add. Yeah. <laughs> that's added. Yeah, that gives us this 49,771.8 cubic centimeters. That's what we did. My estimation was better than the actual math. Sean, you said you subtracted instead of add up. I did, thank you. Thank you. Okay, nope, don't start on the